Hey everyone, it's Tom here from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to run through a tweet which I posted yesterday on Twitter. It says from my Ludicrous Feed Twitter account, spied in Sydney, MG4 testing. And this quote here, warning, this vehicle is registered for engineering evaluation purposes only, is from this picture here, uh, where there is a uh, piece of paper on the dash of the MG4 spotted in Sydney. And I'll run through what it says in more detail. And these pictures are courtesy of viewer AW, which uh, uh, this person spotted these uh, or this car in Sydney. Uh, let's go through the pictures right now. So the first one is of a front three quarter shot. There we are. Uh, judging by where this was taken, I could see the Langham Hotel, uh, which is found, uh, I guess, in the rocks in Sydney, just up the north of Kent Street. So that's where the MG4 was spotted in downtown Sydney. What do you guys think of this car? Uh, looking at it from the front three quarter shot, this is actually the first ground up uh, MG EV uh, that's going to be coming to Australia. So looking forward to testing this for you, looking around the car, driving the car, walking around, all that stuff that I normally do uh, as soon as it's officially launched in Sydney. So yeah, hopefully MG will uh, load me the vehicle uh, shortly after it's launched and we'll get all those details for you. Uh, but yeah, looking good there. That's uh, kind of a hatch, I guess. Uh, is it a family car? Well, yeah, certainly maybe in that Corolla, maybe a bit bigger than Corolla. Uh, certainly a hatchback looking car there. So that's the front three quarter shot. Uh, and there it is from the side. Again, maybe a bit bigger than the Toyota Corolla. Um, yeah, so there it is. Um, is it as big as the Atto 3 BYD? Eh, probably a bit smaller than that. Um, maybe about the same as the Cooper Bourne. The Cooper Born, I think, might be a little bit smaller. We'll have to look at the dimensions uh, once we get the car to compare side by side. The Cooper Born certainly has a smaller nose at the front there. But in terms of uh, the boot space, it might be very similar. Uh, and there is it, it, there it is from the back three-quarter shot once again. Uh, interesting lines going through the car there, the side and the back. And uh, there's a little, a little bump there on the side of the vehicle uh, in terms of the lines. Um, and yeah, there's the back of the vehicle there and certainly a lift gate. Uh, hatch opening too so that's uh, i think that's more versatile from a cargo point of view certainly and there it is uh there is the uh, image showing the wording there and i'll just read to you what it says uh, mg take charge warning this vehicle is registered for engineering evaluation purposes only a uh, use of this vehicle on public roads is strictly lim limited to the evaluation and development of vehicle components and systems uh, when this vehicle is used on public roads it is to be driven only by personnel involved in these or those evaluations. So yeah, so uh, clearly only for testing at this stage. So very interesting indeed from MG. So thank you again to viewer uh, AW for uh, posting or for sending me these pics for me to post on Twitter. And uh, just to remind you of the MG, the pricing was released earlier in May, so about a month ago, and they did actually release uh, all three variants for the MG uh, MG4. So the pricing is as such. MSRP for the standard range vehicle is from 44,990 MSRP before on roads in Australia. That's the Excite variant. And then the Essence variant is $47,990. In terms of battery size, the Excite and Essence is both 61.7 kilowatt hour usable. And the range will vary from 435 kilometers to 450 kilometers for the uh, Essence and Excite respectively. The efficiency, therefore, is 137 watt hours per kilometer for Excite, which is actually pretty good, actually pretty good, um, and 142 watt hours per kilometer for the Essence. Charge is 11 kilowatts AC and 140 kilowatt AC, uh, DC for the quick charge, which is again not too bad. I think if it's about 150 kilowatts, I'm pretty happy with that uh, with that speed. Uh, 150 kilowatt power and 250 newton meters of torque. Real drive, excellent. I think uh, real drive is uh, better for handling. Most people will agree with that. And acceleration, 7.9 seconds for 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. Um, so yeah, the Essence, which is long range, is uh, a battery pack of 74.2 kilowatt hour. Again, that's up there with the Cooper Born, with the uh, eGMP cars like the Ionic 5 and 6 and Kia EV6. The Essence trim, that's what the long range will come in at. Uh, and $55,990 MSRP before on roads. They're expecting a range of 530 kilometers um, and efficiency of 140 watt hours per kilometer. That's again up there with the Cooper Born. Cooper Born, I think, was 511 kilometers uh, for 77 kilowatt hours. So a bit better than the Cooper Born in terms of efficiency. 
charge power 11 kilowatts and uh, to be confirmed for the uh, DC fast charge. Power is slightly more at 180 kilowatts and they're not sure about the torque at this stage. Uh, and the drive is rear-wheel drive once again, and slightly quicker acceleration, 0 to 100 in 7 seconds. And uh, these uh, stats are courtesy of Zcar, so I'll leave the link to uh, this article in the video description below, as always. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the MG4, as I said, is an EV-dedicated platform, the very, very first one from MG, uh, SAIC, MS MSP. Uh, SAIC is the parent company. Uh, MSP, uh, modular something platform, I think it is. Uh, five seats, there's the dimensions there, wheelbase, uh, and uh, the weight is as such, expecting a towing capacity of 500 kilograms, unbraked, unbraked, and boot capacity of this much. So I will be uh, comparing this uh, to some vehicles, including the obviously the, the highest selling uh, EV in Australia, which is uh, the uh, Model 3, Tesla Model 3, when we do get a, uh, a, a press car to play with uh, from MG when this car is officially launched. And uh, yeah, this article also goes through all the uh, specs and things, which uh, you're welcome to look through yourself. And I'll certainly go through that when we get the car. But again, I will compare this now uh, using this table here to some of the, I guess, some of the closest cars in terms of pricing uh, for the MG4. There it is there, 44990 That's the cheapest or the most affordable variant. Uh, compare that to the GWM Aura, uh, Nissan Leaf, Cooper Born, and then the Mini Cooper SC at the higher end of uh the spectrum there so battery wise uh, 61 7 kilowatt hours um the only one bigger is the cooper born in terms of range and efficiency it's not too bad probably uh the best of the bunch 137 watt hours per kilometer with the nissan leaf an acceleration 7.9 fairly respect respectable i think uh for that price charge power 11 kilowatt ac 140 kilowatt i i like this number 140 kilowatt um i'm, I'm not too pleased with uh, anything less than 100 i think at this stage uh, you would hope uh, a car that you know that uh, that can be expected to go for a road trip a long drive uh, or those who don't live in uh, places with off-street parking or charging you'd want a quicker charge to get back to what you need to do uh, in this time pressured world so yeah i'm hoping manufacturers will at least uh, release cars with 100 kilowatts uh, with time to come just saying there's the boot space there, 363 liters comparing to the rest of the field there. There you go, pretty pretty close there with the Cooper Vaughan, 385, very similar. Uh, and yeah, detailed specs for you guys to play with there. So there we go. They didn't actually put the BYD Auto 3 uh, in this bunch here. Again, I think the BYD Auto 3 might be a bit bigger than this car, but um, the, BYD, the BYD Auto 3 is, if you're looking at like for like, for a 50, sorry, 60 kilowatt hour battery, which is the BYD's um, extended range, you're looking at about $55,000 in Australia, MSRP. So it'll certainly be uh, more affordable than that vehicle. And I think at this stage, with that price, it is it is Australia's most affordable EV at this stage. So we'll see what BYD and other manufacturers can come up with uh, once this car is officially launched. It's certainly very, very interesting times at the moment in Australia, watching uh, all these new cars come on the market. So... Once again, that's my tweet, uh, courtesy of viewer AW for the photos of the uh, MG4 found in Sydney, Australia. Uh, thank you very much once again. Uh, check out that tweet and also the uh, specs from Z Car as well. All right, everyone, that's me, Tom from Ludicrous V. Thank you so much for watching. That's the MG4 in Sydney on testing. Thanks so much. Until the next video, happy charging.